MRIs in one minute. MRI machines have a large superconducting magnet that produces a uniform magnetic field. The patient lies in the centre of this and the magnetic field affects protons in the body. Protons have a property known as spin, which means they act like tiny magnets. They align with the machine's magnetic field and wobble around the magnetic field lines as they spin. The frequency of this wobble is proportional to the magnetic field strength. So, smaller magnets are used to vary the magnetic field strength across the patient, creating a gradient. This means protons in different parts of the body wobble at different frequencies. So, the machine can work out the position of the protons in the patient's body according to the wobble frequency. Radio frequency coils transmit pulses of radio waves at different frequencies to the body. The protons wobbling at the same frequency absorb the waves and are excited, flipping their alignment with the magnetic field. Then the protons relax when the radio frequency coils are turned off and release radio waves at their wobble frequency. These MR signals can be used to generate an image of the patient, since the machine uses the different frequencies to pinpoint where in the body the signal has come from.